Hola, hola, Senora Wilson. I am here to explain to you the little chant that we're going to learn about conocer and saber. So conocer and saber both mean to know, but you use them for different to know situations in Spanish. So today we're just going to look at conocer to show you this little chant. It's going to be kind of crazy if you're at home, but maybe it will help. I don't know. We will see. It goes like this. You're going to clap together and you're going to say conocer to know people and places. Conozco, conoces, conoce, conoce, conoce. Conocemos, conocéis, conocen, conocen, conocen. We're gonna do that again, ready? Conocer, to know people and places. Conozco, conoces, Conoce, conoce, conoce. Conocemos, conocéis. Conocen, conocen, conocen. So if you were in class, you would be doing that over and over and over with a partner. If you're at home, I hope you'll do it over and over and over, I guess with yourself, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Okay. Conocer obviously means to know. And you use it when you know people or places. Um, if you have your notes, your packet of notes from me, like you actually came to class and have a paper copy of notes, you don't have this column for endings. So just write them out here. Um, the endings for ER verbs are, whoops, O, S, E, Emos, and N. So we know the very first thing we do to conjugate any verb is we drop the last two letters. So in this case, it would be drop the ER and I would have canos and I'm going to be lazy and I'm just going to copy and paste canos all the way down. And then I would add my endings, which would be O, S, E, Emos, and N. Now here's the problem. The chant does not go like this. Conocer, turn up, people and places. Please notice right here, this is conosco. And if you follow the model for conjugating a verb, what you have right here is just conoco. So that crazy little Z got added in and it goes right here. And that only happens in the yo form. So conosco right here actually means I know. And you would use that if you're saying you know a person or if you're saying you know a place, like um, I know Senora Wilson, I know your mom, we know the teacher, whatever, or a place, like you're familiar with a place, like um, I live in Waco, therefore I know Waco. We know where the uh, we know the new mall, things like that. You're familiar with it. Now the rest of the forms of conocer are completely regular. They don't have any crazy Z additions. So it's just conosco in the yo form. Now if you'll notice up here in this little chant, we did conocer to know people and places. Conosco, conoces, conoce, 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 conocemos, conocéis, conocéis. You won't even see it down here. It's called the vosotros form of the verb. It's only used in Spain, and I don't have to teach it to you. It's just in the little chant to make the words come out even, so that's why you don't, you don't have to worry about it, but it is in the chant. All right, so kenosis obviously would be you, informal, no, people, or places. Really important to keep that in mind. Now let's go down here and let's look at these. I know the boy, so I know is going to be conosco. Now here's the thing. If you're saying you know a person, I know the boy, <clears throat> we know your mom, she knows my teacher, you have this thing called a personal ah. It comes right after the form of conocer and right before the person. So this would be conozco a el chico. Now, if you know anything about the notes we've been taking, you should know that a plus l gives you dun 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 the contraction. Al. Conozco al chico. Only when you have an a right next to an l that means the, you, uh, what am I trying to say? Contract them together, and that's one of two contractions in Spanish. Let's look down here and do this one. She knows my parents. So ella conoce because my parents are people. Because they are people, I have to use this personal a, a mis padres. Now, I'm going to ask in class, hey, do I need to make this al? And the answer is no. 
You only turn it into all if you have an a ah plus l right next to each other and you don't hear. So you just leave it alone. Ella conoce a ah, mis padres. Over here, we know Mexico well. You're just saying you know a place. So conocemos. Do we need a personal a? Ah? The answer is no, because Mexico is not a person. Conocemos Mexico bien. Should actually have an accent on the e, but I'm not going to go and try to get one right now. The boys know the mall. That would be Los Chicos. Conocen the mall. You don't need a personal a. It's not a person. It's just el centro comercial. So conocer. Please remember, you've got to add in this crazy Z in the yo form. You've got to remind yourself if you know a person, you have to add in a personal a. Ah. Also remember that a ah plus l when they're right next to each other gives you a. Ah. A ah plus la, for example, like if you had conosco, if you wanted to say you knew the girl. Whoops, let me get rid of that. Um, I know the girl would be, why is this not letting me do this? Conozco a la chica. I would not combine. It only happens when a is right next to l. So a la is fine. You just leave it alone. All right. Adios. All right, my happy little hente. So go ahead and gather up your stuff. Okay, Christopher, go ahead and tell me what you thought.